Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another early look at an upcoming San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive. Today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Syndicate Collectibles. Very excited for this. Been a long time coming, but this is their 112th scale collectible figure, Pumpkinhead, from that old 1988 film that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> There he is, looking all snarly all over the box. And yes, like I said, this version is an exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con 2024, of which you can pick up at the Syndicate Collectibles booth. I'll have more information on that in just a few. But I like the box itself. It's got great photography, pumpkin head front and center, and it's got some cool reflective sheens with some nice textures. But lo and behold, it has one of those flappy opening bits, and you get to see everything that you're about to enjoy for old pumpkin head, along with some creepy photography. And then of course the saying, nothing can call it off. And that just makes one heck of a pumpkin head package. If I do so, so is myself. Also, there's a hole at the top of the box, so you don't even have to open it up. You can just scare everybody that way. And on the sides of the box, very atmospheric graphics, which look great. Nothing much going on on the back side of the box. You get the little totem, pumpkin head, syndicate collectibles, MGM. You get the idea. On the bottom of the box, you get to see the barcode. However, you're not going to need that because, like I said, this is a San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive. It is limited to 250 figures, 112 scale, and each of those 250 will be signed and numbered by the co creator and the actor that wore the suit. Tom Woodruff Jr. So if you want one, if you're heading to Comic-Con, you can head over to the Syndicate Collectibles booth, which is number 4344, and you can pick one up for yourself. Also, be sure to follow Syndicate Collectibles on their Instagram for all your San Diego Comic-Con updates, or as always, you can just follow me, whichever way you want to go. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, conjure up a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new from the Syndicate Collectibles 112th scale line, Pumpkinhead, the San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. And I want to say a special thank you to Syndicate Collectibles because I thought that this was just a press sample, but no, they really surprised me. They tossed in a official signed card by Tom Woodruff Jr. Now, this does not affect the 250. It's an artist proof, but I love that. Thank you very much. This is going to go right in my glass case collection right next to this pumpkin head. That is pretty darn cool, but it's a nice thick card stock artist signed card so again if you are interested in this san diego comic-con numbered out of 250 you grab it at the syndicate collectibles booth but now let's take a look at the actual figure and all the cool accessories like this christian cross it's all made out of plastic but it looks like wood it's got some great paint to it very simplistic but it comes from the scene where pumpkin head is out about and he sees a christian cross and then just destroys it. He's not really into that whole thing. He's a demonic spirit of vengeance after all, but what's really cool is that you can hold said cross in order to destroy it if you'd like, and he poses out really nicely doing so. You'll have to set him up. You're going to have to get the angle just right in terms of balance, but yeah, that's that's quite cool, I have to say. <laughs> they did a really good job with this figure. You're gonna have to have a hand to hold said cross, right? So he does come with an extra hand. It's beautifully painted. I mean, I gotta give it to him. All the bone structure, be careful of the fingernails. They're kind of gummy, but then kind of brittle. Just don't force anything, but you should be fine. The extra head portraits are quite awesome. <laughs> I gotta say, the paint detail, the airbrush, Everything as far as the sculpts, the paint, the little nuances, it looks like a tiny little puppet on your shelf. That's really something to behold. And yes, swapping the heads is easy peasy. This one, he's just kind of smiling. He looks sadistic. It goes really well with Pumpkinhead. They nailed that, but it's just unnerving. This one is especially unnerving. <laughs> 
He just looks all kinds of sadistic here, but largely it's going to look the same in terms of the head. The only thing different would, of course, be the eyes, the facial expression. But look at all the veins, all that blue airbrush. Everything really pops out. In some areas, it kind of looks wet. The teeth. Yeah, I would say that the two extra head portraits to this, so a total of three, really do their job in bringing all those really great facial expressions from the movie to your shelf. And speaking of which, I mean, this one alone just looks like he's just having a, a blast, just killing everybody. He's been unleashed by Lance Henriksen for revenge for killing his son, and he's going to have a ball doing so. The legs, the feet, the veins, he's got a little peg hole on one side. Doesn't come with a stand, FYI. I do wish that they would have given him a stand. I think that that would have been very beneficial in some instances, but surprisingly, he does balance very well. The sculpt itself, all the veins popping out, you got the dew claw, the bone structure, the bendy wire tail. Now, keep in mind, to a certain extent, it's bendy wire. Right about here, you can kind of see that's where it kind of tails off, huh? But from there to there, bendy wire, which it's not the strongest of bendy wires, but it definitely does the trick and helps in kind of stabilizing slash stand him when you get him into certain positions. Again, all the bone structure on the back, everything protruding, all of the veins again going down to the arms, to his big old clawed hands. Those are really well done, very expressive, very sharp. It's like a cat's nail. So be very careful with them. Not brittle, but don't force anything. Just FYI. That's why recommendation for you. And then on this side, again, a little bit different in the hands. They're not exactly the same, but man, oh man, they do a great job at being extra creepy and extra sharp. So just be careful. On the underside of his belly, all the ribs, everything that goes to his big old protruding shoulder blades, <laughs> to the arms, yeah, it's, it's good. All the shading, all the airbrushing, that face right there with the tongue, the teeth, the eyes, the really creepy, I guess you would say reptile eyes. I always thought that Pumpkinhead was like a monstrous alien. Yeah, kind of xenomorphy. You can swap the heads pretty easy peasy, I will say. So it's just a ball peg and you slip that back on there. And yeah, you can go sadistic, you can go smiling, you can go roaring. And you get plenty of articulation in the head, up, down, left, right. You can get him looking up pretty well. That's pretty cool. Looking down to a certain extent because of his collarbones, plural. <laughs> The arms right there, nothing at the bicep. He has single joints in the elbows. They will spin at the elbow. So that kind of alleviates for the bicep swivel. And it doesn't break up the sculpt too much, which I do appreciate. Plenty of rotation in the hands. That's pretty cool. And I like that he has lots of upper diaphragm to waist articulation. So you can really get him into those positions of being hunched over or just the dynamic sort of pumpkin head poses in general. Not so much of turning in the waist, I think that it turns just enough, but it's not as much as the upper diaphragm. But again, it all works together well. Moving down to the crotch piece, it's not a gummy, rubbery type piece, just FYI. The legs will go up just about there. They will also kick back, kick off to the side. He has single jointed knees down to the second segments, which you can spin at the D, and I think that that works really well. And then down to the second segment, which again, that will spin and rotate. The feet are actually pretty cool. And again, they're done very well that keep him aloft and standing. That's very important with this sort of creature, especially up on his haunches. He's got the peg hole, the toenails, the face. Everything is just painted beautifully. Now, in terms of his height, from Mezco to Hasbro to McFarlane and NECA Toys, yes, this will be around a nine inch figure, give or take, depending on how high you wanna kinda stand him, hunch him down, you get the idea, but roughly around nine inches, which is just perfect if you ask me for taking all kinds of photos while you're at San Diego Comic-Con. In terms of Playmates Toys or Mattel, you can clearly see that Syndicate Collectibles really went for the authentic feel of the pumpkin head monster. The paint reflects that, the articulation, the sculpt, all the details, everything 
is given 100%. And it really does show for this figure. And, of course, in terms of other famous movie monsters like the Predator or the Alien, if you have a collection such as this, especially with Halloween right around the corner, I think that pumpkin head will fit in beautifully to your horrific collection. This is my first pumpkin head figure. There have been many you made. But I'm happy to get this one. This one is pretty slick. And of course, you can argue with Ghost Rider all day long. Spirit of Vengeance, Demon of Vengeance, who's getting their revenge, who does it better. Yeah, uh, just talking each other's heads off. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Syndicate Collectibles. Their San Diego Comic-Con 2024 signed exclusive pumpkin head and like i said if you're not going to comic-con you can head to syndicate collectibles you can grab just the regular version or you can get the tom woodruff jr signed version from san diego comic-con at the syndicate collectibles booth they nailed it great accessories the paint the sculpt the details the horrificness that is the pumpkin head monster it's very cool overall so again if you're a fan of this movie if you're a fan of movie monsters I am going to say yes, this is going to be right up your pumpkin-headed alley. So, you've heard my thoughts, and so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything pumpkin head, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, Haggis warned you. She told you not to mess with the pumpkin head, but you did it anyways, and we thank you for it. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.